Assalamu alaikum my name is Muhammad Ali Raza and welcome to my YouTube channel Marketing Chamber so today I am going to discuss with you sixth class of our Figma email designing series so in class fifth uh, I discuss about text tool in Figma and the terms and uh, situation and everything I discuss about the text tool in the last class so if you have not watched it out go to my channel uh, Marketing Chamber go to playlist Figma email designing series and do start the series if you have not already and subscribe my channel uh, if you have not okay okay so in this class uh, i am going to discuss with you effects option in figma so basically there are four effects uh, in Figma uh, that uh, we are going to discuss. So the first one is inner shadow and then uh, drop shadow, layer blur, and the fourth one is background blur. Okay, so where you can see these effects. So if I select on this design element, so here you can see the effects. So here are the four effects that we are going to discuss in this tutorial. And I will show you uh, with some live practice in Figma also. So just stay connected with me. Okay, so let's get started with the first option. So that is inner shadow. So uh, for inner shadow, uh, I would like to have a rectangle here so that you can understand this option the right way. Uh, so here is the rectangle. Okay, so let me increase the size. Okay, <clears throat> so you have to select the design element and then you will see the effects option here. So click here and then uh, click on the inner shadow so here you can see inner shadow in this rectangle and for uh, its uh, settings so you have to click here on this icon you can play with x-axis value y-axis value blurriness spread transparency fill color uh, from this section okay so if i uh, set the x-axis value at 50 so here you can see the shadow is changing and increasing along the x-axis and if I will change the y-axis value at 60, okay, so let me set it at 40. So here you can see. So if you will change the value for x-axis, so the shadow will go along the x-axis. And if you will uh, adjust the value for the y-axis, so it will go vertically up and down. So it depends on your value you set there, okay? And you can also blur this shadow. So like if I set this value at 15, so you can see the shadow is now blur one. You can more blur, you can light blur it uh, by changing the value, okay? And then the spread, and then is transparency, fill color, okay? So for transparency, you can uh, change the value and you will see the effect there, what is changing in the shadow, okay? So now you can see the shadow is a thicker one, is it is intense, okay? So you can uh, play all these options. Okay, so the next option is uh, drop shadow. So if I click here, drop shadow, so you can see the shadow of the rectangle. Uh, but for that, uh, to explain this option, I would like to have this uh, shoes here. Okay, so okay, so then click here, drop shadow. So you can see the shadow of the uh, shoes uh, behind of it. Okay, so again you can uh, play with the shadow play with the settings from the same uh, icon as we discussed find a shadow so click here so i can uh, set this value at 40 for x-axis okay and 15 for y-axis so you can see the shadow is changing as per the value okay so but you have to make sure and you have to make sure like the where the shadow is synchronizing with your image where it is best fit for your design for your image okay because sometimes product image uh, is of different direction so you have to make sure that like the uh, shadow is uh, synchronizing with the design hope you got me and the same you can uh, blur your uh, shadow uh, like here you can see Okay, and subtract, and again, the same way you can play with the transparency and the fill color. Like if I set this uh, red color, so you can see the shadow is now of red color. 
Okay, so this was uh, like a drop shadow. So now the third option is layer blur. Okay, layer blur. So if you if you want to blur some your design element, it can be some rectangle, it can be some uh, image, or whatever the design element you want to blur. So this option is for you. Like suppose, and here is the one more thing. Uh, if you want to cancel the effect, so you just have to click here on the minus icon. Here you can see the shadow is now cancelled. So for the layer blur, I have selected this design element. So again, I will go to the effects and then layer blur. So you can see the complete layer, the complete design element is no blur. So you can uh, increase its blurriness and you can make it a lighter one. It's up to you. So here is a strategy that you can uh, implement. Like sometimes uh, if you're a client and you are going to uh, like uh, announce some new arrival, but you want to uh, create curiosity. Like suppose today is uh, 17th of July. And we want to reveal the new product on 25th of 25th of July, but I want to make uh, I want to create the curiosity in our subscribers and the customers. So you can uh, add the image of your new product and you can blur that product so that they can uh, like so that that element can create the curiosity. Okay, and you can uh, get more engagement from your subscribers and the customers. But there are different strategies that you can implement, but this is one of the best strategies uh, to blur your uh, product or some image when you are going to announce some new arrival. Hope you got me. So you can set the blurriness from here, uh, 20 or 25 or whatever. Okay, so it depends. So to cancel this effect, I just have to click here. So now the next, and the fourth option is background blur. And this is my favorite, literally. And we are using this uh, for email design for our clients. So for that, let's have a rectangle here. OK. Or, and set this uh, transparency at 10%. And then again, click here. And then click on effects and background blur. OK, so and set this value at 35 and uh, now you can see the effect, like uh, this is the layer uh, background blur basically. Okay, so if, if you would remove uh, this rectangle from the shoes, so you cannot see any effect it is creating, but if you will have uh, some uh, image behind this rectangle, so you can feel the effect. And for that reason, it is uh, my favorite. So you can uh, just, it's uh, like blurriness, like at 25, you can set it at 20. So you can see the effect. So these were basically four options, uh, effects in Figma, okay, inner shadow, drop shadow, layer blur, background blur. So hope you learned something new in this tutorial in our sales class. And please let me know what is your experience in our uh, new Figma Build Designing series. And Clavier Marketing Series also, if you have not shared your feedback before, so that will help me to create more valuable content such like that uh, with more pace. Okay, so, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Stay tuned, stay happy. Thank you.